All right, how you doing? It's Sean O'Brien again with Two of You Guys in Gear, and today we're at the range. We have a couple of shotguns with us. We're gonna kind of do a, a little comparison between the two and just give you our opinion on you know what we think of them and uh, and how they run. Um, they're both on loan, and um, one's a Benelli M4, and the other one is the uh, SLP uh, Tactical from FNN. Yep, so uh, I've got the FN here, it's SLP, the, uh, that is the self-loading police is what that stands for. 12 gauge, 18 uh, inch barrel, six plus one capacity, which pretty much is what that is too. Right, um, uh, this is a five plus one. Right, yep, and uh, they're both really, really awesome shotguns. Um, yeah. we st this one's been shot a lot and it runs great. Uh, yeah, this, this one. This one was our, it's well broken. Yeah, absolutely, and this one for the most part's brand new. Uh, we put the first, what, 15, 20 rounds through right, it today. Too, yeah. And uh, buckshot, it ran great. So we were shooting the estate buckshot. It, it punched them out, no problem. The light brass stuff, though. The, it, not the light, but the, the short brass. Mm -hmm. We were having troubles. Um, it didn't want to either pick it up or and or eject it for some reason. Right. And maybe after it gets broken, that'll change. Hope so. Um, but they were the, uh, the aluminum... Yeah, the, the crap you buy at Walmart for yeah, the, 100 the, rounds the, for 20 bucks. Right, the cheapest yeah. stuff you can get. So right. we're going to let, you know not take that into consideration until it's broken. Right. So <clears throat> now with this FN, it's really a, a, a cool shotgun. Um, it, it does have, let me flip this around here. It does have, uh, or comes with uh, three uh, cheek pieces and three different butt pads. So you can kind of customize your uh, length of pull and your uh, your comb height. Um, the pistol grip on it's very sharp with that step lane, man. So it's extremely yeah, sharp. That's yeah, what the uh, foregrip does. Yeah, it needs to be, I guess, knocked down with a little sandpaper. Just something. a little bit, yeah. But that's as far as the furniture on either one of these. That, that's my complaint with right. the FN. I love the the furniture on the Benelli, um, but yeah, the, it's it's real sharp. It and, is, and that'll probably get worn down with time, or or probably. you can just knock it down. Yeah, I think overall that gun, the Benelli M4, it's much more comfortable, at least to me it is. To, uh, to hold it with the grip and to shoulder it and length of pull, everything. It's That one just fits like a glove, where this one, get used to yeah. it, but that one's just like a natural natural fit. Yeah, if, I, I believe if, if it had a different comb on it and, right. and, and the grip was a little better, it'd, it'd be completely Absolutely. different. Yep. Uh, one thing that these two guns do have uh, that are very similar is they both have the uh, the Picatinny rail yep. on the top of the receiver. So you could uh, take the, the sights off if you wanted to and put a red dot on it. But they both have ghost ring sights. With three dots. Yeah. And to me, they're, they're the same. Yeah, uh, I think they I are. I mean, they're both great sights. They're both three dot. They physically almost look identical. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, pulling them up, they're they're. Both of them are equal to me. They are, and that's the thing, you know. When you're saying pulling it up, it's just like it's like they're <clears throat> they're built so well that you put it up there, and it just like naturally right. falls in line with the target. Bam! All three dots are lined yep. up. Yep. So they are definitely great shotguns. The price on them, though, and the reason why they're on loan and we don't own them, yeah, is they're what like fifteen hundred bucks, give start, or take. To start, yeah, they're they're pretty steep. Um, like I said, they're that's why we can't afford them. But <laughs> right, right, right. But uh. uh but they're cool. Yeah, so, they're nice. So, um, but yeah, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna stop talking. So uh, we'll uh, we'll start shooting. Yeah, I we'll guess. We'll start loading uh, these up and. Uh, yeah. So and shooting. Uh, we've got the double eyed buck. Like you said, we're gonna start shooting that. Uh, we kind of set the low brass stuff to the side, um, since it wasn't running so hot in the FN. All right, let me put these on and. What kind of um, gas system? On the Benelli? Yeah. It's the Argo, A-R-G-O, and that's the auto-regulating gas uh, operation, or operated, I should say. I got you. And I guess that was part of um, the Marine Corps requirements, maybe, when they put it into service back in 1998 for the Marines. So, oh. But it's it's a really cool gas-operated system, clean, extremely reliable. And the FN's just the, the normal gas operator? Correct. It, correct. Yep. Yeah, this is the, the Argo is actually like a dual piston system. Oh, I got you. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a neat system. Uh, I did some reading on it the other day. So sounds like a great, great setup. Cool. Well, I'll step out of, this, out of the way let you shoot. All right. She runs, runs nice. Heck yeah. Recoil is not too bad. It's, I mean, it's not. a little stiff, but it's too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Let me load this up, see how we do. Swap side there with you. All 
All right, Let's see how she runs. Yeah, I'll tell you, man, with the buckshot in it, it runs like a top. Yeah, so, it, it does. Both of them run real nice. They do. So I like them a lot. So, I mean, I think they're just, they're awesome shotguns. I mean, what can you say? You know, uh, it's an M4 and a, a, a FN, so. It, it, the fit and finish on both of them is just, it, it's just nice. Right. You know, you can't, you can't complain. You're definitely, you're definitely getting your money's worth. Absolutely. And as far as reliability, I'm sure that's, that's the same way. Yep. Absolutely. So, uh, so yeah, um, you guys can uh, find out more about us on uh, Instagram yeah. over there at uh, Two A Guys in Gear, and then check out our YouTube channel. So we've yeah. got uh, plenty of other other videos. And uh, hit that uh, like and subscribe button. Yep, absolutely. And uh, we're gonna shut up now and um, do some more shooting. Keep shooting. Yep. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you.